this is gonna be so awkward. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Waverly Reads and welcome back to this peculiar video. I'm so I am here to one, film a video because I need to do that and two, introduce Cass to my channel. This is my girlfriend. Hi. Hi. My name is Cass. Hi. My name is Cass. I've <laughs> been in a few of my vlogs but I thought it was high time that I introduced her to like my main channel and be like, hello this person exists. So we're not doing anything romancy, don't you worry your little heads. We're not though, well we are those types of people but only in the privacy of our own home. We are going, well I am going to be pulling some books off of my shelf and giving them to Cass for her to tell me what they're about based solely on the cover or the basic knowledge she knows of the book from me talking about said book. She's not going to do very well. Talk about the fact that her books are all horror, George R. R. Martin, Stephen King, Doctor Who, Anthony Horowitz. Yeah, she she is that she's that person. As I am this person. She's probably gonna do very very badly. I'm also like trying to tiptoe so we're like on the same it's level, but because you're small, it's not you working. Small. <laughs> we'll give up halfway through the video. It's fine. I don't know how many we're gonna do. I think I'm probably gonna do about five and then just leave it at that. I'm very excited for you to fail. I am going to be using the books that I have read myself personally. Obviously, I have to then be able to explain to her what the book is actually about. Family photo. Hey. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick anything you've read because that's oh, just... that that'd just be easy. Yeah. I'm going oh, to try one. to pick books that I've spoke about and hyped up. Just does you. that mean I have to have listened? Yes. Oh, oh, <laughs> the true relationship test. So we'll, we'll start off easy. Okay. If you don't know what this is about, you are grounded. Oh. *The Games* by Susan Collins. This book's set in a dystopian world where people are in different districts. I know the word district. Mm -hmm. uh, the main character is called Katniss and she's in District 12. And it's a coal district? They yeah, mine coal. mining, yeah. Hunger Games is a game that the capital plays where they just want to kill a load of people. And yeah. um, for this one, Katniss's sister Primrose gets picked, but she takes Primrose's place instead. And Peter's picked as well and they go in and it's they not have my to. <laughs> You, you keep going, I'll explain. You're just correcting me every time I try. <laughs> the sole purpose of the Hunger Games is to survive and be the last person standing. Chris and Peter are picked from their district and they have to go against two people from each and every district and the last person is left alive. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a point for that. Watch the film in English. I know about Rue. You've seen it! That's cheating! I told you I'd seen it, I just never read it. A trial round. <laughs> yeah, you basically got the gist of it. The whole reason for the games is because there was like a whole world breakdown thing and they built up this government where they're basically, the capital is the government and they're basically saying we hold power over you and to reinstate that power they take two children from every single district, a boy and a girl between the age, I think it's either 11 or 12 and 18 and have to fight to the death in the arena for the capital's entertainment and then the winner brings like home riches and stuff for their family and the entire district gets like a month's worth of food or something like that. Katniss goes in and she basically promises Prim that she'll come out alive even though she highly doubts it. Hunger Games, also Jennifer Florence. Ha! But Jennifer Florence isn't in the book. I can dream. I'm trying to pick like books that I'm really hyped and known about on Booktube. City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I saw the word Shadow Hunters. Yes. And I know that's a show. Yeah. What it's about. My friend kind of recommended it to me as a show that's similar to Supernatural. Just to get me to talk about it with her. I know they don't hunt <laughs> monsters and things like that. Tell me what you think the book is about and then. A City of Bones. I mean, you're not wrong. Sad boy with tattoos and a sword. Knowing you, it's dystopian. No, actually Ooh. it's not dystopian. It's set in this world. Dystopia is set in a post-apocalyptic world. It's where the, the opposite world... of utopia. It's where the world has basically gone to hell and they're reforming the government and it's set in like an alternate reality. So like if the world went to shit, this would be where we'd end up. Oh. This is in this world, but with other things going on. Like Twilight and Harry Potter is set in this world but it's got other things happening. Like someone becomes a supernatural being and they go in a group with these other people that call themselves the Shadow Hunters. Okay. <laughs> I can't say about the person becoming a supernatural being because that is a spoiler for the specific person, um, the character. You're not wrong about her joining a group and 
joining the shadow hunters and being a supernatural being what this book is based around i mean kind of the entire series is based on this girl named clary she goes to this club with her friend simon she sees this boy named jace and he like walks into her or something maybe i've got this a bit twisted because i just started watching shadow hunters and i haven't read this for like four years but i'm going off what i know walked into her and she basically said can you watch where you're going and he's like katniss died and i'm never <laughs> filming with you again he's shocked because she can see him and mundane's humans aren't supposed to be able to because he's got this rune which is what the tattoos are they're runes where he's basically invisible to anyone who isn't supernatural. She gets involved with this group after her mum gets kidnapped by her dad, Valentine, who wants to set up all of these evil shadow hunter take over the shadow hunter codex basically just get rid of all of the nice shadow hunters and bring the world to hell what the shadow hunters are is they're like half angel half human and they fight demons and vampires and werewolves you're not wrong you're just not right i'll give you half a point virgin you talked about Ross. this and i've not listened i know it's a better girl i think her name's trinity or something or it begins with a t yeah it does i forgot her name don't do that to me i was thinking of her full name and i was like does it? No, her, ni her nickname begins with the tears. So. I think you told me it's got like three different groups of people. Five, but sure. Five, Divergence, something else, something else, something else, and something else. <laughs> Six, if you're including Divergence. But a number of groups, and... What girl... are Divergence? Fuck if I know. Have you listened to me explaining my books? I don't care about your books. Exactly. Girl trying to restore peace in the different groups so shit doesn't go hit the fan any YA dystopian ever. This book is about a girl named Triss. Not the T. Her name's actually Beatrice. It lives in this post-apocalyptic world, this dystopia world, where everyone is separated into factions. So kind of like the districts, but factions. And the factions are based on personality traits. So you'd be abnegation. The Hufflepuff. Yeah, the Hufflepuffs of Divergent. She is an abnegation girl, but she doesn't belong there. And she goes into this aptitude test, which you take when you're 16, that basically tells you where you belong. At 16 years old, you have to go through an aptitude test, which basically tells you what faction you belong in. And they go by this rule in the country, the world, where you choose your faction over your blood. So even if you're born in abnegation, if you don't belong there, you have to pick you, you should you should change it's really up to the person if they do she takes this aptitude test and in the aptitude test she finds out that she is divergent which means she has an affinity for more than one faction it's very rare and it makes you potentially dangerous to the government and after your aptitude test you go to the choosing ceremony where you cut your palm and you put it over one of five bowls which chooses what faction you go in be told she needs to stick with abnegation because that's the only faction that won't kill her instead she changes to dauntless which is the most dangerous one to be divergent because why would wouldn't a young 16 year old girl in a dystopian world go for the most difficult option? Well, she didn't do it for that reason. She did it because she's always been influenced by the Dauntless people. She's oh, always gosh. watched them and she doesn't belong in abnegation, she says. She's got an affinity for all five. She belongs in any of them. Changes to Dauntless and this book is based around Triss going through the initiation and trying to get into Dauntless whilst also trying to hide her being divergent. One more. What do we go for? Take You Give by Angie Thomas. So come back. You're like slowly scooting that way. I don't want them to kill me because I don't know the books. <coughs> oh, this is one you went wed. wed. This is the one you read for Black History Month. No, it's this was one I would have read for Black History Month if I hadn't already read it. So it's going to be something to do about a strong character. Obviously got to go through some form of trouble. To either, I don't want to stereotype. Either with gang violence or something to do with the police. And they've got to try and make a change yeah, because yeah. of the discrimination etc that's happening to you. Again, you're not wrong. Yeah, you'll, you can have a point for that one. This is based on a black character named Star who... Well, that's a nice name. It is a nice name. It is just your typical American teenager. She just wants to get on with her life, date boys, be who she is. Because she's black, she's discriminated against. And she witnesses a hate crime. I think it's either a relative or a friend in the car. I think oh, I've a seen a trailer for this. Yeah. Um, oh, it's good. She's driving home from a party with a friend and he is told he's pulled over, not doing anything wrong. He wasn't speeding, he wasn't doing anything. Um... <laughs> He was basically pulled over for being black and the police officer comes over and is like i need to see your license blah 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 and he's like why because i wasn't doing anything wrong basically trying to defend his case but because he's black the police take that the wrong way i know that sounds like a stereotype but it, 
it happens on a day-to-day -day basis like let's be real and he's told to get out of the car put his hands on the bonnet and stay like that until the police the policeman has come back from his car Sarah at this point is crying because i think she's witnessed something like this happen before or she's heard about stuff like this happening before and she's really upset she's crying and the guy is really close to her i can't remember whether he's a relative or a friend but um, I think he's a friend. He has his hands on the bonnet of the car and he notices that she's crying and the policeman's gone back to his car. So he opens the door to start to ask her if she's okay and he is shot and killed. The police claim that he saw a weapon. In fact, he saw an afro cone. Just basically killed him because he opened the car door. Brings out this whole aspiring hate crime and there are riots and it's a very hard hitting book i was in the center of it because she was right there and she wants to get justice for her friend who is named khalil i just remembered that because it, the whole tagline is justice for khalil yeah you can have a point for that so 2.5 points out of five books isn't bad 50 percent. but you suck i just wanted to introduce Cass to the channel i was just going to do a tag video today but i decided to pull her here and say yo come say hi and be on my channel because I didn't know what else to film and tag videos a cop out. And make it look a damn fool. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I post a new booktube I post a new booktube video here every single Thursday and I also have a vlogging channel in the top line of the description which I post a uh, reading vlog on every single Monday. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week for another video. Bye. Say bye. Peace out. World peace and Just hair grease. Just say bye! 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 World peace and hair grease. Fuck's sake.